Hi everyone, welcome back to training time. Today I'm going to be reading your assumptions about me. I've done this one time before, but it wasn't a training time. It was just a regular video. I asked you guys on Instagram to send in your assumptions. I'm training Flossie. This is my newest Icelandic. I love how when you ride the Icelandics, their hair flies. Oops, I didn't realize I had my sounds on. Probably want to turn that off. I had to shut my door because I have saddle pads in the dryer and it's making a lot of noise. The first one says you secretly hate every horse you buy. When I buy the horse, I don't hate the horse. I used to not want to sell horses at all. I thought it was such a waste of star coins, but I mean at this point, because of the amount of horses that I have and how much horses have improved, I don't mind selling them as much. If I buy a horse, I like it in some way. I would have to like it to buy it. I mean, maybe eventually I'd end up hating it, but it would probably take some time for that to happen. The next one says, you were an extreme love 18 plus role player. I wasn't. The most uh, that I've done, why are my exclamation marks gone? The most that I've done is when I was 13 years old, actually, I bred my horse twice in a role play. Other than that, nothing has ever happened. And also that's not even, that doesn't even count as extreme love 18 plus. The next one says, you only play SSO for YouTube. If I didn't have a YouTube channel, I would still get on this game and check out what's going on. And I would still buy horses. The next one says that your SSO name is your real name. It's not. My real name is... It's on my channel now, actually. <laughs> because I did real life riding videos and my trainer said my real name. So if you want to find out what that is, this should just be a plug for my real life riding videos. I'll put some cards up so you can check them out. Does that sound good? Okay. The next one says that you're actually the glue man's helper. Oh god, I remember the glue man. That was a very shocking experience. The next one says that you're starting to not like Star Stable. I can't say that I don't like it because the game has come really far since I started playing it. I started playing the game a long time ago. We could have one horse. You couldn't even take the saddle off. You couldn't take any of your tack off. And there's so many features that just were not a thing. So at this point, I definitely would not be able to say that I dislike Star Stable. I mean, maybe there are some features that I think are declining. Like, for example, the story quests. I didn't even play the new story quest because at this point, I'm not interested in the storyline. I don't like how it's changed. But obviously, it's not going to be the same experience that you have when you first start playing the quest line and you're super into it. It's funny though because I've had a couple alt accounts where I get on them and have tried to play through the quest line and it is so different from when I played it the first time because of the order and all the side quests. It's a weird thing because somebody playing the game now and going through the quests and stuff, they're gonna have a completely different experience from someone who started the game a long time ago and went in a different order. You could unlock Golden Hills at level 12, I believe, and now it's higher than that because you have to get through other quests first because they've added so many side quests. But with that, there are still other features in the game that I do like more now, like the horses, for example. I really have enjoyed the improvements on the horses and updating the horse breeds. It's just still, you get these horses and there's not much you can do with the horses. I think that's the big problem. You can go through quests, but the racing system, it's not enjoyable to me anymore. It's kind of a mix of feelings about that. The next one says, you find SSO boring these days. I feel like all of these are about saying you're not interested in Star Stable, you don't like Star Stable, you think Star Stable is boring. That was most of these assumptions. I think Star Stable 
is more boring unless I were to make my own fun by doing some realistic something or the other or just making outfits and then screwing around. I don't use Star Stable as really a social platform anymore to talk to people on because there are just more enjoyable ways to communicate with people. I wouldn't say it's completely boring. It's not a black and white answer. Like when you say, oh, you don't like the game anymore, you find it boring. There's some things that are more boring, but there's also some things that are more exciting. I would say something that I do find boring is that when you do get a horse, what do you do with the horse exactly? Like you train the horse, you train it so that your horse is fast and that you can go to champs, but what if champs aren't really that fun because of the way the racing system works? That's what I don't enjoy anymore, and I think I'm kind of repeating myself from what I said before. The next one says, you are going to quit SSO. No, I'm not going to quit SSO. I don't think I'd ever actually quit. I would quit if I was banned or if my account got hacked, maybe I could make a video about it and then keep playing the game. <laughs> if my account got banned, I think the first thing that I would do is make a video about it. Oh my God. <laughs> the next one says, you're pregnant. This is the same person sending that. No, I'm not pregnant. The next one says, you swear a lot, like a lot. Okay, in real life, I do swear a lot, yes. Oh Lord, now somebody's yelling that I'm here. <laughs> the next one says, I assume you're not gonna do any more roleplay vids. I don't know. I have not made a realistic roleplay video in so long, but for some reason, I will take a notebook and I will write an entire script and an entire scenario and story and plan out the video, but then I never actually end up filming the video. I don't end up recording. I don't end up actually doing anything with it. Now that you say that, I'm thinking things through. The next one says, you've had a toxic trainer before. I would say that's true. Not my current trainer, obviously, my current trainer, I've been with her for a really long time. I love her so much. She's the best. I did have a trainer before though. This was years ago, okay? I was a lot younger then. And she mm, was kind of interesting. Okay, so then I went off on too long of an explanation. Basically, when I was a kid, she would scream swear words at me. She also kicked my horse out of the barn after she helped me buy that gelding. So then we brought that horse to my current trainer's barn. I went on to talk about that horse a little bit and why he didn't work out. Where am I even going? What the freaking... Why am I going to Sunset Islands when it says the Forgotten Fields? Good lord, I got so carried away. I was trying to tell a story and I just... Where is my brain? I don't know. And at the time, I didn't know how to jump. He didn't know how to jump. And so we were not the right fit. So that's when we took him and traded him for Lola. See, I'm just gonna fail this mission by not even getting to the right place. I don't even know why I'm trying to get over here. Um, enough about that. Every time I start talking about my real life horror story, it becomes too long and then I have to cut out I swear, a half hour of the video. This has happened to me before. The last time I did a horse shopping spree, I started talking about real life horses and my whole story about how I got into riding. I just ended up cutting it all out. I could probably turn that into a training time. I could say training time, my real life riding story. But I would have to organize it a little better because I would have to write down some points to go off of so that I get everything. I don't know if anybody's even interested in hearing that story though, that's the thing. I'm gonna fail the mission. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here. I'm over it, I'm so over it. I used to get so angry when I would fail races and now I just kind of sit here and go to sleep. Let me know if you guys would want to see a real life riding story, how I got into riding, the horses that I've had, what I'm even doing, and I could put pictures on the screen too. See, I could totally make this work. I'm going to Crescent Moon Village. I feel like I haven't been here in forever. The next assumption says, 
That you get star coins from SSO. No, I don't get star coins from SSO. And I'm not even an ambassador either. I'm a nothing player. I've gotten star coins one time from SSO, free star coins. That was because, okay, this was forever ago. This was years ago. I posted a picture that was a puzzle piece to a bunch of other pictures to reveal a horse. That was the only time that I got star coins. The next one says, you drink a lot of iced coffee. I actually don't, surprisingly. What do I drink? I drink iced tea. Oh my God. Can we? I really don't drink coffee that much anymore. I drink iced tea. I drink chocolate milk and soda. The next one says, you always sound tired. Yeah, I get that a lot. Some people say that I sound bored. Some people say I sound like a bitch. Some people say that I sound like the person who would bully everybody. What else? That I sound like a bitch. Did I already say that? I've also been told that my voice sounds like a really basic girl. Um, not sure exactly what that means. I'm usually not that tired when I make videos, unless maybe if it was an update day and I started recording early or something. This is just the way I sound. The next one says, you have your life together. Right now, I'm in a stage in my life where I really, really do not have it together. Thanks for assuming that I have my life together. That's a compliment. Someone says, you don't ride that gray gelding anymore because he was too spicy. It's funny because it's actually the opposite. What am I doing on this pony? What the? He was arthritic and it wasn't good to be riding him. He was extremely old. I actually got him for free. I was able to give him back at any time because he was already retired. We took him out of retirement, put weight on him, got him in shape, and... His arthritis was just too bad. He actually was not spicy at all. He was the easiest horse that I've ridden in my life. And he taught me so much, actually. I feel like when I was riding him for a long time, a lot of issues that I was having with equitation, just body position, stuff like that, it actually got a lot better when I was riding him. The next one says, you're going to buy another pony? No, I can 100% confirm with everybody that I will not be getting another pony. The next one says, you think you're better than other SSO YouTubers. I definitely don't think I'm better. There are other YouTubers who they post more consistently. For example, I don't even make videos about every single update because... If I'm not interested in the update, basically, I don't make a video about it. Or maybe I'll be interested in the update, but it's not enough content to even make a video about for me. So I don't think there's really a measure of being a better YouTuber unless you're talking about how much somebody posts or how many views and likes and whatever that they get. Content-wise, it's all subjective. Everybody likes different styles. Everybody likes different channels. You can't really cater to everybody. Really, you can just be yourself and people will like you or they won't like you. It's impossible to please everybody. Here's the exception. Unless if somebody is doing something really offensive, then yeah, that's a different story. Obviously, there are exceptions. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, oh god, okay. <laughs> the next one says, you prefer Mickey over Lola. That's not true because they are such different horses. Lola was actually a lot harder to ride than Mickey. Mickey's bucks are different because he has a way shorter body and he's smaller. They are both really hard to fall off of. That's a good thing. I had such a special relationship with Lola I had her for almost seven years. The thing about horses, and this is the same with an all animals too, I guess, your relationship with each one is going to be different. Whatever you had with one animal, it's never going to be the same. 
with another animal. I'm not saying it's better or worse, you know, I can't compare it like that, but it's just different. Yes, I really enjoy and love Mickey, but I also really enjoyed and loved Lola and had a special relationship with her. The next one says, you don't like greys more than bays. You just like how SSO does greys better than bays. And I'm missing a checkpoint right now. <laughs> I think that this is true. I do prefer how Star Stable does their gray horses. There are a select few bay horses that become my favorite horses because they're just nice bays in the game. If I put all of the gray horses that SSO has ever made in a line next to all of the bay horses that Star Stable's ever made in a line, I would probably choose the gray ones. I think I would. The next one says, you have a secret crush on Idris but won't admit it. No, I really don't. The next one says, you actually hate Star Stable. No, I really don't. The next one says, you love selling things. Yes, I love selling things. Oh my gosh. I love going through my home stable, picking out the things that, okay, I would never use this. I actually just did that yesterday. So I went through and I was making an outfit and I saw this helmet and I was like, what the heck? There's an orange chin strap. I'm never going to wear that. So I'm going to sell it. And then this helmet, I don't even know why I bought this helmet in the first place. I don't like the color. I used to be the opposite though. I used to keep everything I could in the game and collect everything I could, which is interesting how things have changed over the years, how I used to be a star stable hoarder. And now I feel like I have more of a specific style instead of just keeping every single thing and thinking, oh, well, maybe I'll use this one day and I know I'm never gonna ever use it. So I might as well just sell it and get shillings and buy stuff that I like. I like getting rid of stuff in real life too, especially clothes, old clothes. Oh my God. It makes me feel like I'm more organized. The next one says, you secretly miss parts of old SSO. Oh yeah. And that's not even a secret either. I feel like mostly the nostalgic factor, playing through the story quest for the first time, the sentimentality of the first starter horses, you know, just going around, having your one horse, having a special, special bond with your one starter horse, taking them to champs, thinking they're the fastest horse ever. I used to take my virtual horse for walks at Christmas time on virtual trail rides. I also miss some friendships that I used to have, club memories, stuff like that. The next one says, you send in your own submissions. I actually don't. I guess technically I could do it if I said, oh yeah, don't show my username. There's been times where I've shared my own experiences and then some people in the comments are like, we just want to see other people's submissions. You took up three minutes of the video talking about your favorite updates. I'm like, oh, okay. I should just tell them, hey, this is my channel. The next one says, you have an obsession with Schleich horses when you were younger or before SSO. Yeah, that is true. I really did not collect briars. I did have a lot more Schleich horses and I would make popsicle stick barns for them. And I was obsessed with watching Schleich barn tours. I had probably three popsicle stick barns and I would make the stall doors slide in and out. And I made it so fancy. I would have cross ties with actual chain. I would just get a bunch of stuff from the craft store and just hot glue it all together. Then I would paint it too. And I would have a whole tack room with, oh my gosh, I would have saddle racks and all kinds of stuff and little mini posters on the walls. It was very elaborate. I was very serious about it, clearly. There were some nice Schleich barn tours on YouTube. I don't know if they're still up, but that makes me want to go on YouTube and see. The next one says, you hate magical horses that come out. This is kind of true, kind of not. It depends on the horse, okay? I can't 100% say, oh, I hate every magical horse release. There are some that I just really, mm, but then there's some that I'm really in love with. So it depends on the horse. The next one says, you like the smell of your cats. I really do like the smell of my cats, actually. They smell great. They're not even smelly at all. They smell so nice. The next one says, 
You have exactly 128 horses. I don't even know how many horses I have. Should I go count my horses and see if you're right or wrong? I'll do that after this race. The next one says, you secretly want to quit Star Stable and become a Roblox streamer. I think that's what Lydia, my sister, wishes I would do. I'm just really excited for Tales of Rain Ravine. I got so into that game, even though it's just a demo. I'm addicted to getting on there and jumping the horse around. All right, I'm counting my horses. That assumption about me having 128 horses is wrong because I have 105. So good try, I guess. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this training time. Thanks for watching. Bye.